What is up, my Cappy Capricorns? I hope everyone is having a good Labor Day weekend or whenever you watch this uh, video. This is going to be just like a quick soulmate check-in. I like to do these at the end of, I, I do tarot parties when there isn't a virus worldwide going on. But I like to do these at the end. Um, just it, It's a little bit of fun. It gives you an just a small insight into how you're feeling and how your soulmate or your partner or person of interest is feeling. And then we'll do some central energies. And then we'll uh, end it out with a little angel romance cards. I just uh, thank you so much for watching a Stella K video. This is only my second month on YouTube. But I've been doing this for over 20 years. Yes, I'm over 40. And um, I'm a sixth generation reader. So, I, you know, this is kind of in my blood. And I've been doing it for quite a while. Also, remember that the energies are interchangeable, so whichever side resonates with you more, take that side, and don't make it your story if it's not your story. Also, if I say he, she, king, queen, knight, remember that I'm picking up on energies and not specific genders, okay? So, just kind of fit it into your life the way it can, if it fits into your life. You know, don't make it your story if it's not your story, this is for any Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And uh, let's have some fun. And remember, time is fluid, so it doesn't matter when you see this video. This could be a soulmate you're dealing with right now, one that's about to come into your life, or one that has been in your life. You know, it, it's, it's all about what universe wants you to hear right now, because universe doesn't make mistakes. Um, she or he lets you see and gives you what you need to hear when you need to hear it. So let's slice them and dice them and let's get started on this reading here on this little soulmate check-in. I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe, um, hit the like button and share. Also, I give out free Friday giveaways every Friday and at the end of the month I give three new subscribers uh, decks of cards with instructions on how to use them. I'll tell you about how to do that at the end of the video. And if you'd like a private reading, the information is down below. Let's get started. Okay, Four of Cups right here. All right, that can be Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces energy. When we're talking about the Four of Cups, okay, sometimes this can be being a little bit jaded. It can be like having these three full cups and like ignoring like the one cup that's a little bit empty and it makes you a little bit jaded. So I feel like you're a little bit jaded right now in this relationship. Like you're not totally vibing with it right now. But remember soulmates, you know, can sometimes be hard relationships to have. All right, let's pull another card. All right, more cups, seven of cups. Again, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. This is options and choices. You definitely have options and choices. I almost feel like you might have multiple soulmates, but I'm only going to pull one side for your soulmate. But I feel like right now, like the universe is probably going to hand you a few options as far as soulmates go and options in dating, especially if you're online, like because online dating is crazy right now, but I almost feel like that's what you're doing. Okay, Seven of Pentacles, this is your energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, okay? This can be feeling a little bit frustrated and a little bit overworked, and maybe that's why you're um, not seeing that those three full cups and you're feeling, you know, a little bit um, like you need to keep your options open because as a Capricorn myself, I know like we're workhorses. I mean, I got up at six o'clock this morning you know, and started doing this so I can do my other job later. Like, I get it. I totally get it. All right, and then temperance. This can be Sagittarius energy, so you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. But this is also balance. Balance is needed for you in order for you to have a really fulfilling relationship with this person. Okay, and I, like, I feel like almost like that balance is missing. Like, this person isn't... um for one, not filling that cup that you really need. Like, I feel like this person fills a lot of cups for you, but there's that one really important cup that they're not filling. Even before I pull their side, I just feel like that's what I'm getting from you. Like, there's just, like, this one cup that they're not filling, and that's why you are looking for other options, and you're feeling a little bit frustrated, and you're looking for balance. Because there's just like this cup that they're not filling, but it's a very important cup. And I almost, I feel like it's like a communication cup. 
I feel like they may text too much. There might not be enough one-on-one -on -one stuff or there may be like too much sexy talk and not enough like actual intimacy like emotionally. Like I feel like that might be missing in this relationship. All right, that's just intuitively what I'm picking up right now. All right, let's see how your soulmate's feeling. All right, let's do it. All right, I like to look at the bottom of the deck for this one. Your soulmates and their subconscious right now, just so you know. Like, they are totally internal going into the... They're trying to pull their subconscious to their conscious. Like, they aren't seeing what's in front of them. When I pull this card, and right now intuitively, that's what I'm feeling. Like, uh, the moon always means subconscious. But I feel like they're having a hard time pulling it into their consciousness. They, their brain and their heart knows what is good for them and what will make them happy, but they are almost like refusing to do it because they're stubborn. Okay. So I had to get that out. All right. So three of swords, they're a little bit broken hearted right now. They're, something is breaking their heart. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Something is going on with them right now where maybe you having options and wanting this balance and not accepting the three cups because you want all the cups full um, is breaking their heart because they feel like they can't give enough to you or they're being stubborn and not giving it to you based out of ego. Like, I feel like this person has a lot of ego for some reason. Okay, Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Okay, so when we're talking about the Queen of Swords, that's cutting something out of their life. So right now, I feel like they need to go into their subconscious because their heart's broken right now and figure out, like, what is bothering them so much in their life. And I feel like what needs to be cut out isn't a person. I feel like they need to cut out their ego. I feel like they never come forward with, tr like, these true feelings for you because they're a little stubborn and they almost break their own heart doing it. And I feel like this is almost like a... Um, how do I want to put this? It's like a routine for them. Like they've done it to themselves before. Like self-sabotaging is the word I want to use. Like they, they somewhat self-sabotage. And I feel like you see that. And that's where you want balance at the end of the day. Like you're just like, why does this person always sabotage like such good connections? And it's, be, it's because it's uh, something that they have done over and over again in their life. And right now they need to go in their subconscious and really find that about themselves and they need to cut out the ego. Their ego is huge. Maybe even a bit of narcissism so they can't see through it. And I'm not saying narcissism in like a horrible way, like they will come after you and do crazy stuff. But I'm saying it in a way like um, they see themselves in this light and their ego blocks them from taking less than the perfect story and they don't realize that the perfect story doesn't exist you know where most people that have their feet on the crown understand that no one's perfect and there's no perfect relationship all right the knight of wands this is like my impulsive guy right here all right uh that's fire energy aries sagittarius leo when i look at the fight or the knight of wands sorry this is like my rushing in player impulsive guy. And I feel like this is another part of kind of their um, routine is they kind of do the same things with the same women over and over and over again. And they, they kind of have a player status for doing it. And it's starting to bother them. And that's why their heart is hurting a little bit right now. Because they know where they're supposed to be. And they know where their home is. And they're not settling there and they're sick of this but they don't realize it because like I said I pulled the moon on the bottom of the deck and that's their main energy so in their subconscious like they know this is there but it hasn't come to like their third eye chakra or into their heart or into their brain yet like they haven't realized that this is what's like hurting them and also you okay eight of cups Eight of Cups is walking away. They pretty much walk away from anything that, um, I feel like they walk away from anything that gives them a little bit of dis disruption. Like, if it's not picture perfect, this person probably walks away, 
comes back, walks away, comes back. So I'm just going to give you a little warning on this specific soulmate that you're thinking about right now. Okay, I'm going to use a different deck for common energies in case we can double clarify any cards. But I'm just, that's, I'm sorry to say it, but it sounds like a little bit of an a-hole. But this person, like, if you really want to work on it, you absolutely can work on it. But just watch out for these things with this person. Because your side is all about balance and love and wanting to, you know, have a good thing going on. And on the other side, it's all about, you know, confusion and not even knowing themselves well enough to have a healthy relationship. Maybe you might want to wait a couple years and come back to this person later in life. You know, they're, and I'm sure you've learned some lessons from them. That's what soulmates do. Okay, we got some droppers here. Hold on. Okay, so for your uh, common energy right now, we have the Four of Swords. You guys are definitely on a break. It's breaky, breaky time. That's uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. That's like both of you taking a break. So right now you guys are definitely on a break from each other. I feel like this person is figuring themselves out, but I'm not sure that it's going to happen soon because I'm feeling like that narcissistic vibe. I, so just be careful if this person comes back, if they're lonely or want like a night just of you know, satisfaction. Be careful about that. Okay. And then the five of pentacles. What did I say? This is being left out in the cold. Either this is a Capricorn Taurus Virgo energy. You're probably leaving this person out in the cold or they're leaving you out in the cold. This is the blockage right here. This is your blockage card. You guys definitely do not communicate enough. And if you do, it's probably over text message. And this person's probably like scared of heart to heart conversations where I can see here you're not because you're searching for balance. But this person, whenever conflict comes in or their emotions get heavy, they walk away. They don't confront problems because of their ego because they need to cut out the ego and they haven't cut that out of their lives yet. They're still in this player lifestyle. Even though they say that's not what they want, that's what they are. So just be careful. But, you know, be gentle with them because it does, you know, break their heart. They came to you with a broken heart. When you met this person, their heart hurt. They know all this about themselves. It's just in the subconscious. And because of the narcissistic traits, they have a really hard time bringing it forward into their real consciousness and working on it and fixing it. So just be careful. Okay, um... And this is going to be um, the uh, universe is going, actually, you know what? No, I'm not pulling that. another card. Sorry. That was the Six of Pentacles, by the way, which I feel like you needed to see. That's the Six of Pentacles. That's generosity. And I feel like, you know, both of you need to be generous with um, each other's feelings. I feel like you need to be generous and almost like if you want to be with this person, you're going to have to teach them how to love properly. And especially how to love themselves properly. Because while they might have this huge ego, that's not a proper way to love yourself. And definitely you can't love another person with that kind of attitude. You know, you you may have to be generous in that aspect if you want to try to make this work. Let's see what Universe has to say. Let's pull three Angel Romance cards here. But just be careful with yourself too, okay? Don't get too emotionally involved here because this person is like hot, but a hot mess. Like they came to you broken. They need to cut out their ego. We have the player card here, impulsive. This is probably someone that sleeps with a lot of people, dates a lot, probably has a little bit of online addictions and walks away from problems instead of solving them because that's what this card is. Where you, on the other hand, have, you know, all kinds of cups of love and you want balance and it's frustrating you that you're not getting this balance that you know you're capable of because you are capable of it. Okay. All right. Let's, let's see what your angel romance has to say. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all. I want you to be open to, to love. And remember, you have the options card here. 
So don't just think about one person. In our lives, we have many soulmates, many soulmates. So just because it's one person that's on your mind right now, it, of course, whatever's on your mind are the cards I'm going to pull. That's how tarot works. But you definitely have options. But don't close your heart down just because, you know, one person that you wanted has a lot of issues with, you know, giving and receiving love in the correct way. Separation, time apart from your partners on the horizon. We've already established that you guys, you know, your common energy is four of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That's taking a break. Five of Pentacles, this is your energy. You know, uh, this is your blockage right here is that, you know, you guys leave each other out in the cold, I feel like, like from time to time. It's like calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, visualizations help bring you together. I feel like you're going to find another soulmate that is going to make you very happy. Like there is somebody on the horizon that you're calling to. I don't specifically feel like it's this person. Um, this person has a lot of work to do on themselves before they're worthy of you, just so you know. Um, give them a chance to heal. And like I said, is some this when I pull cards like this and I feel an energy like this, like I almost have a tear coming down my face right now, feeling this person's energy because they're so confused and I see them like sitting in their house alone, like being so sad and not understanding why when the answers are so clearly easy to a person like you that just wants that romantic balance in a relationship. You know, you just want to be talked to and held and loved. And this person has so much ego that if they make, you know, one mistake in a relationship or say one bad thing to a friend, like they'll never bring you around that friend again, like things like that because of the ego issues they have and the narcissism. So just be very careful about it. All right. I'm Stella. Thank you so much for watching a Stella K video. Also, don't forget, I give away uh, free Friday readings. So hit the subscribe button, the like and the share button. And just if you want to, uh, to be in the drawing for the free Friday readings, just write a little comment underneath your sign and you're indefinitely in it until you win. And you're also in the drawing for the free uh, tarot card giveaways at the end of the month. I give it to three new subscribers every month. Um, private readings, just email me. The information's down below. And I love you guys. And I'll see you in a couple days for your bi-monthlies. I love you. I'm sorry this wasn't the most pleasant reading. But I feel like this is what you needed to hear. Okay? There is a soulmate out there that will love you and care for you. And be everything that you need. That the lesson won't be so hard. It will be pleasurable. Alright. Bye.